This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on depreciation accounting. Hence, useful to the students who are reading for 11 Commerce CA Foundation ICWA CACPT. The sum is on depreciation accounting and that too in particular change in method of depreciation. In some of the higher secondary boards, in 11th commerce, change in method of depreciation is not there in the syllabus, but it is very useful to the students who are reading for professional courses like CS, CS, ICWA. I want to solve one sum wherein the rate of depreciation, the method of method for providing depreciation has been changed. Look at the sum that I intend to solve. This is the sum that I want to solve. Ravindra Trading Company purchased the machine for Rs. 60,000 on 1st of April 2011 and decided to depreciate at 10% per annum on diminishing balance method. However, on 1st of April 2014, company decided to depreciate it at 15% per annum on fixed installment method from the beginning and to adjust the difference in depreciation as arising from the change of method in the profit and loss account for the year 2014-15. Assuming that the financial year closes on 31st of March each year, show the machinery account and depreciation account for 4 years, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15. I am required to prepare machinery account and depreciation account for these 4 years. Here the important point is the change in the method of depreciation after 3 years. So, purchased on 1st of April 2011. However, from 1st of April 2014, so for 3 years the depreciation has been provided as per diminishing balance method. Now they want to change the method of depreciation after 3 years and they, they want to provide depreciation by straight line method. You can't start straight line method straight away from the 4th year onwards. You are required to write the adjustment entry for difference in depreciation for last 3 years. So you have to change the method of depreciation with retrospective effect. That's an important point that students should understand. And you are also told that retrospective effect is to be given. Here I am required to prepare machinery account and depreciation account for the 4 years. Just observe, let me start. So this is my part of the sum that I have read for you. This is machinery account. This is depreciation account. I am required to provide machinery account and depreciation account for 4 years. So let me have 4 segments of this account just to observe. This is for 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15. Same way, here also depreciation 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15. This is how 4 accounts are. This is for 4 years I have prepared the account. Let me start with the first transaction. Machinery purchase for 60,000, machinery account debit to bank account or cash account. So machinery account is debited with the purchases. Depreciation is to be provided at 10% on diminishing balance methods so or 60,000 into 10%. 6,000 depreciation for the first year, I write here. Depreciation charge 6,000. Depreciation account debit to machinery account credit. So your depreciation account is debited and machinery account is credited. This depreciation is transferred to profit and loss account at the end of the year. So profit and loss account debit to depreciation account credit. So this is a transfer entry to profit and loss account. After doing this, I would like to strike the balance of machinery account at the end of the year. So total of debit side minus total of credit side, you will get the return down value of machinery. Return down value of machinery is 54,000. That becomes opening balance in the next year. In the second year also you are required to provide depreciation at the rate of 10% by diminishing balance method. So 54,000 into 10%, 5,400 is a depreciation for the second year that I write in the working note because I am required to work out the change in the amount of, the difference in depreciation because of change in the method of depreciation. So I am preparing a working note for that. So 5,400 is the depreciation, depreciation account debit to machinery account credit. Now this depreciation is transferred to profit and loss account at the end of the year. So profit and loss account debit to depreciation account credit. Here I'll strike the closing balance. 54,000 minus 5,400. I'll get the return on value. 48,600. That becomes opening balance in the next year. Now in the third year I'm required to provide depreciation 
डेप्रिसिएशन अकाउंट डेबिट टू मशीनरी अकाउंट क्रेडिट प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेबिट टू डेप्रिसिएशन अकाउंट क्रेडिट नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू स्ट्राइक द क्लोजिंग बैलेंस सो फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस फोर एट सिक्स जीरो सो बैलेंस कैरी डाउन फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन फोर्टी इज द ओपनिंग बैलेंस नाउ दे हैव डिसाइडेड टू चेंज द मेथड ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन राइट फ्रॉम फोर्टीन फिफ्टी नाउ दे हैव डिसाइडेड to provide depreciation from 1st of april 2014 the company decided to depreciate it at 15% per annum on fixed installment method so 60000 into 15% is the annual depreciation as per fixed installment method and we are required to write the adjustment entry for depreciation for all the three years all the previous three years on which depreciation has been provided by reducing balance method So here depreciation annual depreciation by fixed installment method will be nine thousand. So here eleven twelve also the depreciation should be nine thousand as per fixed installment method. Fixed installment method second year depreciation also should be nine thousand. Third year depreciation also should be nine thousand. For eleven twelve depreciation provided is only six thousand. Now we require that depreciation should have been provided nine thousand. So additional adjustment to be made six thousand minus nine thousand. Three thousand is the difference in depreciation that you are required to debit to profit and loss account. Now in the second year, we have provided depreciation for five thousand four hundred. As per the change in the method of depreciation, we are required to provide depreciation nine thousand. So we are required to find out the additional charge to be made to profit and loss account. For that, we shall deduct fifty four thousand fifty four hundred minus nine thousand. So this is the additional charge to be made to profit and loss account. So profit and loss account will be debited for this additional requirement of three thousand six hundred. Same way in the third year, as per reducing balance method, we have provided depreciation four eight six zero. We should provide. Now we decided as a policy matter to provide depreciation nine thousand. So additional charge to be made to profit and loss account will be four eight six zero minus nine thousand four one four zero. So. This is the total adjustment to be made to profit and loss account, and for that, profit and loss account will be debited, and machinery account gets credited. There's an adjustment entry that we are required to write because of the change in method of depreciation. Now, in this fourth year, we are required to provide depreciation by fixed installment method, so it will be nine thousand. So let me write the entry: profit and loss account debit to machinery account credit. This amount should not be debited to depreciation account. This amount has to be debited straight away to profit and loss account because it's a prior period adjustment. So ten thousand four hundred profit and loss account debit to machinery account credit. Now at the end of the four year, I am fourth year. I am required to provide depreciation by straight line method nine thousand. The journal entry for that as usual depreciation account debit to machinery account credit. Profit and loss account debit to depreciation account credit. And here I am required to strike the closing balance at the end, four three seven four zero minus. So you will get the closing balance to be carried down twenty four thousand. That becomes opening balance in the next year. This is how change in method of depreciation is operated here before you. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed these things. Thanks to all of you.